So this was sent to me by a friend. Something about Tekken 8 being downloadable and hinted towards a beta? Let's see what's going on. Sure, absolutely. Probably seeing some new characters, you betcha. It's about time, right? Like, well, obviously we know Kazuya and Jin, but there's going to be more characters. But could there be something like a beta announcement? I know that sounds fantastical even, but given the news, well, let's dig into it. So this comes to us by way of one Moonsault Slayer. And this is pretty interesting here. So check this. Interesting. Footage. Okay. So this is their Xbox console and Tekken 8 is on it. The thing wow. is, is more than just like Tekken 8 being on the storefront because that can happen. At, you know, it's on Steam, it's on PlayStation as well, right? But it started downloading. Didn't get all the way. The download got canceled. They only got 300 megs in before the download stopped. But there is Tekken 8 to download on Xbox right now. That's Suffice interesting. To say, well, there shouldn't be any Tekken 8 to start downloading on any platform. Right. Now, we did make a previous video on this channel here how Tekken 8 might be launching earlier than you might have anticipated, specifically launching within Bandai Namco's fiscal year 2023. But if there's actual players to obviously accidentally download on Xbox or any platform, that means things might be even further along yet than we thought. Because right. why on earth would there be any amount of files on Xbox Live of all places to be downloaded exactly. unless they're prepping for something? Now, we can only speculate, but some people are speculating this is potentially getting ready for a beta. Obviously, no hard fact, no hard proof, but once again, why is there Tekken 8 files at all to be downloaded, right? So yeah. perhaps the Game Awards coming up later this week, December the 8th, one of the things that could be announced for Tekken 8 is some manner of playable beta or playable demo. How Tekken has traditionally worked up to and including Tekken 7 is there is arcade releases first and then it comes out to console. But this time around, Tekken 8 is coming straight out to console first and foremost. So perhaps a lot of the location test data that you would normally get from an arcade release can be done just through a public beta test or public demo. Certainly not a bad way to do it. It's how you catch a lot of bugs, catch a lot of odd balance and networking stuff and all that kind of stuff ahead of your actual release. Now, yeah. once again, it is certainly not purposeful that there was anything to be downloaded for Tekken 8, right? That is definitely an accident, and that's definitely why the download got stopped by force, because they probably removed whatever means you could get any amount of files from the game. But just the fact that it was there, regardless of the accident, tells me something oh, is potentially up. Now, once again, beta demo, who knows? There's simply no proof surrounding that. But when you speculate, it's an option available to us. Now, that's about the long and short of it, to be honest, but... All right, all right. So, we saw it there. Um, yeah, that that is crazy because Tekken 8 got first announced, like a teaser, at EVO, right? And then we got, like, a sort of more official announcement later on, I think a month or two later. And then we uh, they've been teasing on, hyping up on Twitter. On their, um, ben has been hyping this shit up on their Twitter. That it's going to be shown more off at Tech uh, Game Awards. So we're going to see more of this at Game Awards. This definitely seems like it's a beta. There's going to, it's, it's like whether it's an open beta or closed, I don't know. But it's just, why would it be on Xbox like that? Like the guy, the guy said here, why, you know, it only makes sense that, you know, with speculation that it, there is going to be a beta soon. It could be later this month. Honestly, I don't know, but I would hope they don't do that. I would hope they would maybe do it for next month because we got Street Fighter Six, uh, second close beta. But I def it definitely seems like there's going to be gameplay showed off and a beta, a beta announcement to sign up for it at least. And hopefully it's maybe next month in January. And then the possibility of this game coming out next year is looking more and more likely that Tekken 8 and Street Fighter 6 are going to be the two big fighting games for 2023. But don't know when they're coming out. Uh, I was hoping Street Fighter 6 would be February, but it's not looking like that. It could be maybe spring. Tekken 8 might be the one in February. That's a possibility. Um, who knows? And the fact they're not doing an arcade version this time is also speaking volumes because, and that could be due to changing of development cycles and methods, stuff, stuff like that, because of the pandemic. Let's just be real. Um, the pandemic has changed a lot in terms of game development. So it honestly makes sense that they're doing this strategy now and method. Um, and to try and get bugs fixed and stuff like that, do the beta and do a console release. And hopefully it's fantastic. I want robot netcode. 
it's almost guaranteed there's going to be robot netcode in Tekken 8 because considering they're having to be put in Dragon Ball Fighters, um, and they got Arc System Works, they worked before just helping that. So I mean, they got people they know. So who knows? Maybe they got some people from Arc System Works or somewhere else to help them out with the rollback. Hopefully, because honestly, Tekken is a great fighting game series, and the only thing really to me that held back Tekken Seven is online. Uh, would have really good rollback netcode. So let's see what happens. But this is very telling. Uh, I'm looking forward to the game awards even more now. Yes.